All right, what's up guys? Today let's talk about the Quest 2 setup that I have. I just wanted to make a quick video for people out there that are looking to make their Quest 2 more comfortable to play with. And all the things that I mentioned are gonna be listed down in the description for you guys to take a look at. This video is not sponsored, obviously. Huh? <laughs> These are just what I found and I think personally to be the best options right now to pimp out your headset. There are a few solutions out there to help you with playing for longer periods of time to keep it as comfortable as possible. If you have the money, I think this would be the best way to go in my opinion. My biggest gripes were that the foam pad that came with the headset was just sucking in all the sweat from your face after you played for a while and the head strap being lightweight and causing the headset to slip down the front of your face a little bit over time as you played. First thing that I replaced immediately was the foam cover because I hated the feeling of putting the headset on and getting that sweat juice just straight to the face <laughs> from a couple of hour, hours ago of playing. I bought a few covers and I think the best one by far is the VR covers from vrcover.com. They're well made and you get two sets of leather foam so you can swap them out here and there if you're cleaning the other one and yada yada yada. One's a little bit bigger, one's a little bit smaller. They come with a facial interface replacement as well, which in my opinion is better quality than the one you receive with the Quest 2. I dropped my Quest 2 on accident and origi the original broke, so I was already in the market to find a replacement anyways. It also comes with the silicone nose guard to block the light leaks coming in from the bottom of your nose. It also comes with a VR lens cover so you can cover the lenses and they won't get scratched, which I thought was also pretty cool. All of this for basically 30 bucks. It's $29 on their site. $30 and then tax obviously. The next thing that I replaced was the head strap and the reason why I went with the one I did was because I was hearing rumors of the elite strap breaking on people. It just seemed like it was poorly made on the sides for longer periods of use, like the lifespan of it and it just snapped on the side straps from what I was reading. So I picked up the HTC Vive Deluxe strap. It's a hundred bucks, but it's probably gonna run you about the same price as the elite strap with the extra battery on the back. And the only reason I say that is because you're gonna have to buy a 3D printed part called the Franken Quest 2, which if you don't have a 3D printer, you're gonna have to buy it from Amazon to be able to attach the head strap to the headset and then still pick up an external power pack if you want the extra battery life, which I would also recommend due to the life of the battery not lasting very long. But the really cool thing about this head strap is that it has drop down headphones that snap in and snap out. You can be a little bit more immersed in the game with the drop down headphones over your ears. And just, you know, to me, audio is everything. And I this is pretty much why I fell in love with this headset is because it just completely covers your ears. <laughs> Originally, I was using the wrist straps that came with the controllers on the Quest 2 in a specific way, which I wrapped around the top half here. And I'll show you in a clip here. Over time, they stretch a little bit and I found my hands were still a little too big and it wasn't very ergonomic trying to reach all the buttons on the controller. It'll work for some people, but those of you with larger hands, I would recommend getting the Kiwi hand straps for the controllers, which what I have. You can Velcro them to fit your hands and they're pretty comfortable to play with. Those are gonna run about 15 to $20 on Amazon. And again, the links will be in the description. I bought quite a few accessories and I wish I didn't spend the money on them because they were all crap and I didn't want to include them in the video. So these are what I would recommend if you wanted to pimp out your headset and be pretty comfortable playing if you're gonna do it for longer periods of time. But all in all, that's the complete setup of the Quest 2 and I absolutely love it. I figured I'd share that with you guys looking for some solutions to specific problems you may be having. And yeah, if this video helps you, please smack that thumbs up button because it helps and smash that subscriber button for more content. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace guys. I don't know how I just hit that shot.